Hello and welcome back to Snowrunner and our hard mode series. We are at the drill site. We dropped off long logs last time. I was uh, being indecisive about where we were going to go. And I think we were going to go to uh, Norton's house at the end because I thought that was somewhere else, but it's not. It's on this map. It's here. It's way off over there. Near where the. I think it's called the Logistics Hub. That we set up in all the mud. Norton's house is near there, so we're going to do that one. I'm I'm still torn as to which way to go. I think I'm just going to go the long way round. I'm going to play it safe. I can't, I can't be dealing with um, <laughs> roll with the P16 again. We're going to play it safe. Going to be boring. Play it safe because it still might roll. You never know. It still might roll. But we've got long logs to do here, we've got some long logs to go into Drummond's, and we've got two lots of long logs to go to Island Lake. And I think after these ones... Have we got them to go? No, we haven't got them to go into Drummond, they just went to Island Lake, I think. I think after this we might go to... Oh dear, I'm still torn, I'm still torn. Do we switch over to... Um medium logs and get them done we're short on fuel <laughs> at our logging site anyway we've got fuel on here at the farm and we've got fuel at the entrance to um, the lakes and we've got fuel the other side of the entrance to Drummond we have no fuel on Black River and that's where we keep going back to But anyway, thank you for coming back and joining us. Thank you for continuing on with the series. Our sporadic series. It, it will just keep going, though. We will keep doing it. Um, add uh, a little bit more interaction on the series as well lately, which is really nice. Nice to have the comments, nice to have the feedback. Whether you're watching it right now or whether you're watching it later on down the line, it's really good. I've had some people that are way back on, like, episodes 2 and 6, 10, dropping some comments. Uh, and it all helps because it's all it's all relative to what we're doing still and it also helps when we get to other maps this isn't the only map that's going to play like this for us we are going to reach other areas that are going to require it that's why i say this probably isn't or definitely isn't the last time that we rolled the p16 it's you know it's going to have a lot more use i think especially the way finances are going we're going to end up having to sell trucks I'm not sure if we've got one or two that we might be able to sell already. Well, we sold our original Chevy. But I think we still have a Chevy, but I don't want to get rid of that yet. We have the uh, the little Scout. There's every chance that I might have sold that as well. <laughs> and there is the... Is it the Trans Star? I forget what it is because I never use it. I always sell it. The one that we rescued out of the mud. Not the White Western, but the other one. The uh, the highway truck. Since I'm using the Kodiak as my fuel and repair trailer, and at the minute the GMC is going to be a bit of a molly tool of whatever we need it to be, for now, until we get some trucks that are going to replace maybe the fleet star for, for more power and ability, then the fleet star will probably become a utility truck for us. So the, the GMC is working in that role. And now it's got a crane on it that didn't really do anything. Um, oh yeah, back to the feedback. I had some good feedback um, from Wessel and from Rusty. Wessel is my go-to guy, and Rusty is the one that sort of offered the advice on the crane. Um, turns out I was sort of approaching it wrong still, and maybe if I had just sort of dragged the P16 onto the road and worked it from there, we might have had a little bit more luck with it, or even brought the twin stair, it was recommended should maybe brought the twin stair and with a bit more oomph to it, pulled it into place and maybe maybe worked it that way. All great, all, all great advice. And like I said to those guys, it's a constant learning process here, so uh, every day's a school day and we'll, we'll, we'll try those things next time. We 
because it will happen again. So yeah, any any feedback anyone ever has at any point in any episode is always welcome. If you're listening to this and later on down the line, you know, you see that we're already 20, 30 episodes ahead, maybe. Still leave a comment, it could help. I will undoubtedly have troubles in Alaska. Uh, when we eventually reach Time Air. Time Air on hard mode is gonna be brutal. Um I had oh, I had have there is a stream series that's just not running out the minute. The stream series on normal mode where we're in time air. And there are times on that where we bog down and it's just brutal, so it's all fun though. I like to be in time air, that was good. Can't wait to get there in hard mode. Can't wait to see some new maps. Although we're gonna to have to, because it takes me forever to do it. <laughs> but once we've done the first three, I might might mix up where we go so they're not just in release order so then I'll, I'll I said before many times but I'll say again now some people join in later on um, so then at least our then our subsequent route through the game is a little bit different from maybe other people's uh, we're just going to grab some more fuel going to drink that dry before it's been used Oh, that was being saved initially. That was being saved when we go and get medium logs from there. That's what that was for. <laughs> I've already nearly emptied out. I think once I've dropped this off to Norton, we will have to take maybe. Uh, might be an episode, might be a whole episode again. Just sort of doing a little bit of logistics and gathering up some fuel and moving it about again. Uh, probably with the Fleet Star, since that's the uh, most accessible at the minute. I don't want to move the, the White Western because it's just sort of wasteful because it's where I want it to be next as well. Uh, but the Fleet Star might go on to that fuel trailer to go and fill up maybe the Kodiak and then to go and, and then we'll. We'll grab some more fuel and then fill that up and yeah just I just need to move some fuel about again where I've left it just isn't good not for me I've been too wasteful to have it so to, to, to have so much of it just sitting so far away Oh, by the way, I've got my new glasses on now as well, so the game is looking even more beautiful than ever. And I've always said it looks beautiful. Back when I first got glasses, about 10 years ago, maybe even a little bit more than that, I was amazed at how good HD looked compared to... Because that's what, that's what we had back then. There was very little... Well, there was 4K and 2K, but it was super expensive. But yeah, I, I didn't understand all the fuss with HD until I got glasses. And... Yeah, to, go, to be wearing glasses now and playing games again in 2K and 4K, it's just crystal, absolutely crystal. We'll see how long they last. I have a terrible history of breaking glasses way too frequently. Scenes today, we need to try and make some good ground. Each of those uh, little intro sequences is a couple of minutes in game real life, <laughs> if that even makes sense. Now, while I was sitting in my load screen, I was having a little think, and I probably won't even use the fleet star to go and do the fuel thing since we've got this, <laughs> this bad boy. Anyway, we might as well take the P16 to... I think there's an empty fuel trailer down at the entrance near near the lake. 
so it would probably make sense to go down there grab some fuel from that with this if not we have fuel tray oh no I think I brought it up didn't I put it on the road on the bendy road so we might have to go and gather that I think that'll be quicker and easier than trying to use the fleet star as much as I love and have faith in the fleet star I just think the P16 will do a little bit be a little bit more capable with the power although it's not got like the all wheel drive and stuff it's just got the oomph that will get us through they practice run for run of the swamp as well. Gear up. Oh yeah, I think last time as well I asked, should we should we just try and power through or should I should I start slinging that winch out and just drag myself more and uh, <laughs> it was rusty. Rusty said winch. <laughs> so yeah, try and progress through winch. Where we can. Anyway. I'd like it if it would grab the, the one in front of me, you know? There we go. Young girl. Just think how much of a beast she'd be if she had all-wheel drive. If we had power running those, those front wheels as well. Now I know as we go along our journey through the game we're going to pick up some trucks and stuff that I'm you know, most likely never going to use. So they, they may get sold just so I can sell the P16 and, and, and buy the... Um, is it, I always want to say the JMB, it might be the GMB. I always get confused. I've got a terrible memory so uh, apologies to that person. But yeah, their, their version. Um, not, not get all the cheaty bits on it but just be able to put all wheel drive on. And some, and to use the uh, the roof space up there, put some fuel on it or something. I feel like the vehicle is very much underutilized with the space that it has. But you put some jerry cans and some bits on the side there, and bits on the roof. So underutilized. And to worry about the extra weight, we'll put an extra extra larger engine in it. Give it all-wheel drive. Stick some flotation tyres on it, and it's a monster. Of 
because that's the thing. I think that's another thing that sort of holds the P16 back is its limited tyres. Like it's got its own tyres, and that's it. Whereas if we just have some better tyres for it, that would that'd be a massive improvement. Because that's that is what is key, or I think that's pretty much what's key in this game is tyres and being able to get through the terrain. Because you can do a lot with a smaller engine and a small vehicle if you have the right tyres. So do we have any more fuel? Hardly any in... Fuel tank is there. Empty. So we need to come and put some fuel in that. Right. Oh, let's actually get the log, shall we? That's it, full, so we can pick up two. That'd be lovely. Now, I thought I was going to hate having to do this manually, but it's actually become sort of part of my, <laughs> one of my favourites. One of my favourite things to do is pick up these logs. Because most of the time, I mean, we've had a few that have gone a little bit wayward, mainly in the dark, when I panic. And most of the time, they go so well. It's intuitive. It feels right. He says as he's sore. Not really getting it very well. Too much. I think, the, I think the truck's tipping over. That's what that is. Just as I said, it goes well. What's, what's happened? Going on. Lift. We've proper sunk in the mud. Oh no. <laughs> Mad. Madness, I tell you. Right. Might have to have to move the White Western soon. Scrap what he said about intuitive. It's gone insane. It's sliding away. Stop sliding away from. Oh. <laughs> Stop sliding away from me. Still easier than logging on farm sim. I think I've parked the uh, B16 further away. I think that's what the problem is. There we go. Right. I mean, I've definitely sunk. <laughs> that's definitely sunk, but yeah, I think the P16 is a lot further away than the usual.
a normal person would go and move the P16. I'm actually having fun trying to do this. Ah, oh, it fell the wrong side. Oh dear. Silly man. The train trying to morph itself back. See, that's how we know that our terrain isn't resetting because that's where it wants to reset to. Right, let's sit it in there nicely. Just leave it be. You're fine. Right, let's change trucks. All in, all in. Right, so we've got to get to Norton's house in the dark now. And we love, love how much I like going out in the dark. Oh yeah, it was also asked because I was struggling with the truck have we had any damage. We repaired it. Excuse me, we repaired it. Um, what little there was. Engine damage. And I've also had someone ask if I repair... I don't know, do I repair a garage? Um, on, a, on, a, on a recovery? I don't, I just pull it out. I'm not going to... Because I think that's like another 12 grand, isn't it? To completely repair your truck in, inside, your, inside your garage. And that's mainly for the cosmetics. I'm not worried about that at the minute. Considering the roles it's had, I mean, she's looking pretty good. To be fair. When we started the logging jobs, I don't know what in my head made me think I'd be doing. Oh, do two or three, two or three of these deliveries uh, a day, an episode sort of thing. We'll be for in no time. But the minute it's like <laughs> one delivery, an episode, it's not super progressive. Go and get some traction. Rock. And other than the, the quarry delivery, which getting down and delivering it weren't no problem. These are the easier ones, I think. Like this is going to be more of a challenge, this delivery. And then when we get into Island Lakes. I was going to go with some uh, in cab, but I don't like the um, the viewpoint for the V16 in cab. And we will definitely, definitely mess something up. 
when you can't see, you'll hit it. Or fall off it. Skin deep. Stuck on a tree, pulls me out. Oh. -ho. Just a little one. There we go, we finally reach it. Finally. Come on, let's go. She's a heavy girl. She sinks pretty quick. Sometimes you've got to get those wheels perfectly straight or you do not move. What's that calling a big Bertha? Come on, big Bertha. I want to take you through the swamp later, if we've got any daylight left at the end of the delivery. the stones under weight.
I don't know how people um, tandem up trucks and pull them along. But a truck with long logs and a truck with long logs. Don't know how they do it. Or, or when they do double mediums. That'll set up a similar truck so they have like a medium carriage on the back and then medium carriage in tow and then a truck with a medium carriage and a medium carriage in tow. And I just, oh, gives me anxiety watching them. Because as we can see, I can barely uh, pull a single. Oh, yeah, they, they never seem to roll. Not when I've watched them. I watch them live on Twitch sometimes. I watch people play, excuse me, here on YouTube. And, yeah. Mad skills. Like, you can't even see what you're doing. There's one chap I once watched. And he, he had the um, double medium set up on his. Tow on a, another truck with double medium set up. And he was doing it all from here. And I was just like, that's nuts. He can't even, he didn't even see what was going on. Brave man, brave man. I forget what trucks he was using, but... Or what map he was in. Is there a Wisconsin one? Maybe that was where he was. Is that Wisconsin where there's got... Logs? Is that the one where there's uh, fire? Is that where you get to be a fireman? Not quite, but sort of. Yeah, spoilers. You get to be a fireman on one of the maps. What we need to do, and I've said this many times, is find out which of the Russian maps you get to set up a, like a gas station. Because then you have free gas. We need to find out which one that is so we can have free petrol the whole time. Just have to pay to pull it through. And obviously deliver it. And get it down back. Free gas, that's what we want. Perhaps after after time here that'll be the one, but I, I bet, I bet it's a really challenging one. I don't think it's the one where you build the Tatra factory. I think it's a different one. If it's Amir, then we won't be doing it. Amir will need better trucks, I know that. I've not seen people play Amir. I've just heard about Amir and how difficult it is. Amir, Amar, however you pronounce it. You guys know the one I mean. Those that play, you know what I'm talking about. So I love that it just bosses through that, but then another bit that I think we should just boss through, we, we just get stuck on. That's why the P16 leaves me feeling so uncertain all the time. Like that little puddle, that puddle stopped us. But the big one, we just sort of ripped right through. Gonna hoss through the pawn field again. And when I say hoss, I mean reap. It's quite an efficient run now because we've got to get to the other side of the map and back before we can get more fuel. Never in my life did I think I'd say the word fuel as much as I have the past few months. <laughs> and it's only ever going to continue. A fool for fuel, that's me. Yeah, bit.
and all the rock. Come on. Don't dirty me like this. There's got to be something that can pull me. There we go. It's not what I meant when I said we need to be efficient. Tiny, tiny little rock. In the end, like half a wheel to get round it. I've done the other two and a half. So we need to get as far as we got with the dam, and then roughly half of that again, I think. Or from this point, roughly that again. Because it's up and round and down, and then it's sort of down and round and up. Like I say, then we have to go all the way back. Not here. So where's the where's the Land Rover? Hmm. Okay. Because that's got fuel in it. So there's no help to me here, being there, but... If I need fuel for bringing this back, that's what I'll have to do. To jump in the land over and host that all the way over. Because it's going to be able to carry fuel for me. Could even grab one of those... Um, scout fuel trailers and... Just tow with it again. I should imagine power to weight ratio. Our Land Rover is our most capable vehicle. <laughs> if we could pull one log at a time, we'd probably do it with that. going forward with this series as well. I might try and record these um, the evening after the previous one released, just so if there is a little bit of feedback, I can sort of act on it a bit more. Um, I'm going to be releasing them in the morning, at uh, my time anyway. 11am in the UK. Um, that was sort of when they used to go out, and then as the uh, as the schedule changed a bit, I brought them to the evening, and then they sort of became a little bit more frequent, and then just frequent. Um, but I think... With other content that's coming out at the minute, and the time frame that that works better at, and with that being a more uh, that being more popular content, I think that sort of gets the prime slot back. Uh, but if this goes out in the morning and people have a chance to watch it up until about sort of 8 p.m., then 8 p.m. the day of release, so I can record the next one for like two days' time. So then maybe in that evening is when I'll I'll do 
I'll do the snow runner and then switch over and do the NASCAR for a sort of change, literally for a change of pace. Because the new farm, the new farm sim content uh, takes a lot of time at the moment. And they're, they're, they've only been short episodes so far. I think uh, I've recorded three of them. Or uploaded three of them, I should say. And I think the total time of all three videos released is under an hour. I think the total time it's taken to record them, including um, like map prep time and setting things up and getting it worked out ready, is already well over 15 20 hours but <laughs> for about 45 minutes of content so that, that that does take a long time hopefully those of you that watch this and watch that are enjoying it having fun doing it it's nice to have something that sort of got my attention again on farm sim and sort of get my teeth into that really enjoying enjoying the map Enjoying two maps at the moment. Got the uh, member content as well. That is um, early access to channel members. So if you're interested in seeing more content by me, and you're interested in the farm and simulator, we do have a uh, a members series. Um, they get four weeks early access to it as it comes out, and then it will go to public. If you want to get early access to that, or want to support the channel, the membership starts from 99 pence. Uh, there are other tiers, but all tiers get access to everything. So it just depends on how much you want to support the channel. We have done giveaways in the members area as well. I think just last week we gave away three months of uh, PC Game Pass. Um, I might look to add in some console things as well. And I should imagine as FS25 gets closer we will since uh, Farm seems obviously a large part of what this channel is and how it grew and where the audience is, we'll do a far, uh, Farm Arms and 25 uh, giveaway. So if you're remembering you're watching this um, and you're thinking about 25, hold off, you could, you could get a chance to win a copy. So that was the, that's where we dropped off previously, that was the drill site. About a quarter of our fuel tank down. We might call this episode Fuel Watch. <laughs> Probably should just call the series Fuel Watch. Remember, there's something I was reading a while back on Reddit. Someone was asking a question, and um, I, can't remember, I can't remember what specifically they asked now. I remember my, my reply was patience and perseverance was for this game. How do, how, how, how do you do someone like that? Patience and perseverance. Smiley face emoji. And I think someone else commented <laughs> under that in the thread. I think that's what they should have just called the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Patience, perseverance, and frustrations. So I'm not getting too speedy down here because there are a few sneaky stones. I'm not sure, I think we popped a tyre here before. See, now I thought today we were going to get this delivery done. Move around the setup, gather fuel. I just overestimate what I'm going to be capable of doing every time. Because we have some, we had a couple of episodes a while back now. And we were doing so many jobs, so many jobs. Oh 
come on, we can get on to something, Shirley. Come on. Who's Shirley? I don't know. She's always out to question, though. I mean, I'm not even certain what we're stuck under because it's dark. I can't see. I don't think we're really stuck on anything. I think we're just being a little bit of a... <laughs> bit of a pussy. <laughs> yeah, there was nothing there. Probably grounded a little bit on something. There's a rock there. Just went in the mud. More lights as well. That's what the P16 needs, more lights. You want some side lights on it so you can see around you. Don't you dare. Don't you bloody dare. Is that the bit where it's easier to go through there? No. bouncing about a lot and just sort of there's buddy puddles and I think we're just bouncing around and just dropping right into them. I think that's what's causing some of our issues. So we need to be careful on the way back because I'll, I'll bounce through them at a little bit more speed and We'll have one of them flip moments like we had on the very first uh, P-16 flip. pretty flat. What, what did we stop on there? What was that all about? It's doing everything it can to use up my fuel. That's all it's doing. It does it to me on purpose. Just get stuck. Just so we can waste more fuel that we can't afford. Let's stay close to the tree line. That's one of the things this game does. It keeps you humble. <laughs> everything you're good, everything you're doing something good, it will get you. It will. <laughs> so we're winching and powering and hardly moving. We're just on dirt. Come on. Pull Norton's tree out just so we can get in there. Come on. Got some logs for you, mate. There you go, buddy. Enjoy. Now I've got to try and get out. Don't you dare. Righty.
What is this game doing to me? Any, any opportunity. Maybe it's not the game, perhaps it's just the truck. It still remembers from back at the beginning when I said I never used it. <laughs> I said, oh, you think, you think the wolf pack is better than me, do you? You use the wolf pack. <laughs> You'll get your wolf pack now, mister. Like, I can't. But if I could, I bloody would. <laughs> I can get the wolf pack and the Debbie Longhorn, thank you very much. Yeah, in, in the daylight there's a shortcut through there, but I'm not going to do that in the dark. I think we took it on one of our routes through here doing something else. Without weight on, um, I don't feel confident going up there. Not in the slightest do I feel confident going up there without some weight on this truck. third of the tank left. Perhaps this is the bit where I should show you you can run all the way along the riverbed all the way to the dam without rolling a truck since it didn't work last time let's, let's do it this time because yeah. I swear I've done it many times from here all the way pretty much to the dam to the farm along that riverbank you can do it Wouldn't keep harping on about it or being so adamant about it if, if I hadn't done it many times before. He just doesn't want me to do it in hard mode. It's like, nope. No, you don't. So, shall we? Oh, I think I get stuck around there. I think that'll cause me problems. That's why I didn't do it last time. We're not going to risk it again. We'll just do our best to get back. Just got to get back to the farm. Get some fuel. Then we can try and work out where our trailers are and um, what fuel we can grab and with what and where to take it. In this daylight, nearly. So uh, we've not got long left, actually. When I when I open the map up quickly, I always forget to, to just glance up and check the time. Get useless like that. Especially now that I can see, I should be right on it. Right on it, bro. Oh, and by the way, all things going well. We should be live this Sunday for um, the Euro Truck Conquer Britain series. We should be back to a live one for that for a few hours. Get a couple of deliveries done. Hopefully buy a new truck. Get some more drivers. Uh, I have had a little bit of feedback on that as well. Which is quite nice about 
um, trying to do some jobs uh, between episodes and just running through the logs so people can see where the money's come from and what we've done. Uh, just because I'd like to be able to try and progress that as well a little bit quicker. Because we've we've hit many of the towns and cities, which was one of the goals. Uh, we need to drive on all the roads in the UK and Ireland, um, which we're sort of slowly working through. But we also need to own all the garages and have a full fleet in all the garages, which we are quite some way off. We only own three of the garages. I think, and only two of them are full. We do have other garages in Europe still from the previous sort of runs of the of the series. Back when we were out just doing whatever we wanted. Um, but we're not working on those, but those guys are still bringing us in money out there on the continent, and we're not moving them around or shutting them down or doing anything we need to have to get new drivers and trucks to run out of the UK. So yeah, after this live stream, from then on, um, I, I, live streaming on a Sunday is completely dependent on my partner's work schedule. So if she's not got work on a Sunday morning, then I live stream the truck in. So if we haven't got a opportunity to live stream, I shall um, do some jobs in between and then record and, and put the log up as we go along. Have uh, is part of what we're talking about, and I can tell you about anything that happens on them. And, maybe share a screenshot or something and then um, oh, I'll record them as I do them but I just will be commentating on them and then if there's anything interesting I can clip it in but uh, yeah and then um, going forwards I'll try and do a couple of jobs throughout the week anyway and then even if we do a live stream I can show you that I've progressed and done X, Y and Z still Because it's just about making the money now. Making the money. That's I think it's only maybe a dozen or less. Less than a dozen um, towns to hit. Now, I think most of them are up in Scotland and there's a few down sort of southwest that maybe we haven't hit yet. We just need to earn the money. And every driver and truck that we get helps us to earn money quicker. That's how it works. Can we reach the fuel tanker with 50 litres of fuel? Nope, we're going to get stuck instead. Of course we are. It'll be that hill bit that weren't a hill where we just stopped dead for like 10 seconds burning fuel that's going to cost us in not reaching the fuel trailer this time. I'll also try and remember to um, bring that up a little bit more often. Um, it was said that people weren't sure about vehicle damage and fuel and stuff because I, I run no HUD. I, I like to run no HUD. If I was a little bit better, I wouldn't even have the markers show me where to go, but I forget stuff. And we're doing well at not having to jump in the map every five minutes. Whereas sometimes that does seem to be a bit of a thing that we do. Loads, we have loads left over. We coast it in high gear. Just gonna park in the farmer's front yard. That's what we'll do. Oh, we're not close enough, of course we aren't. Must be now. 39 litres left. Not impressive at all. It is now half past seven. We started, um, oh, there's a bit, of, a bit of weird morning sun that. We started at around about seven, I think about quarter past, 20 past seven anyway. So that, that will be our full day. Um, you know, only the one delivery, uneventful ish. Um, but hopefully you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, turn the bell notification on, find out when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. Like I say, memberships are available if you want to gain access to the extra content. We have new merchandise listed if you go to the store page on our 
film page. You can get links to it there. Some new t-shirts, some specifically for the trucking as well. Um, but you guys have a wonderful day. And hopefully I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.